A few years ago, Ford launched the Focus RS with a controversial feature called Drift Mode. At the time, it caused an uproar in some circles, with critics saying that it encouraged dangerous driving. Despite the initial pushback, features like this have become more common in recent times, with the latest Audi RS3 boasting a drift mode and even the relatively affordable Volkswagen Golf R getting something similar. Heck, even Kia can offer you a drift mode nowadays. According to new patent documentation, the Blue Oval is now revisiting the tech. Patent documents filed in September 2020 were finally published yesterday, and they show a novel new means of initiating smoky slides. This new approach to a drift mode system sees the driven wheels being decoupled from an actuator. As that happens, the brakes lock up the drive wheels, likely for just a moment, which places the actuator in speed control allowing torque to be sent to this actuator at levels that will be instantly calculated based on the car's actual speed and targeted speed. Essentially, this would have the same effect as a professional drift car's hydraulic handbrake, causing the rear wheels to lock up suddenly. When the grunt is suddenly reintroduced to the drive axle, the immediate shunt causes the wheels to spin up, thus creating the potential for a drift. The filing indicates that this technology would be applied to a vehicle with a longitudinally mounted motor, which could suggest a couple of things. Our immediate thought is that this system is for the next Ford Mustang GT, but the Stang has never had an issue breaking traction. Then again, the S650 generation Mustang could arrive with all-wheel drive, so this system could still make sense. Interestingly, the patent suggests that this technology could be applied to both traditional vehicles and EVs. Perhaps the Mustang Mach-E will get the new system in its next incarnation, but wherever it goes, it seems that Ford is determined to keep cars fun in the digital age.